Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So today we have loot from 3,000 avian seas and as always I like to test the kills per hour in the very first hour and I was averaging about 280 to 300 kills an hour so I figured 3,000 would be a good amount to make a video on and I also decided to kill the ones in God Wars dungeon not the ones in the wilderness dungeon so just keep that in mind. And the only difference between the ones in the wilderness dungeon and the ones here is that the wilderness ones always drop noted addy bars and the ones here here, drop Addy Bars if you have the Fermentic Hard Diaries completed, which luckily I do have done. Looking at the normal drops, you can see they do drop average amounts of runes, herbs, and a little bit of alkables. They drop a rune dagger that's poisoned, as well as rune limbs. And because of those two specific drops, I did bring a rune pouch and filled it up with lava runes and nature runes so that I could bring alks, so that way I could use all those drops and just make it into one big coin stack for the whole video. And that same coin stack did stay in the inventory throughout the course of 3,000 kills, so you guys will be able to see just how much much you can make from those rune dagger and those rune limb drops when it comes to alking them. And as it goes for most of these loot videos, it is important to bring a gym bag as well as a herb sack just in case you get herb drops as well as gym drops. I was noticing the herb drops were more common than the gym drops, but either way, it was important to bring both of them. As it goes for the other drops, obviously they drop a lot of noted addy bars, and they also dropped insold heads, so if you have that one item that I sadly can't think of that collects those insold heads, that could be used here as well. And overall, in my experience, I didn't miss out on picking up any because they're pretty uncommon as a drop but they do go for 8k so it kind of adds up over time if you collect them. As I did mention before you do need Fermentic Hard Diaries to get the noted Addy Bars from these avian seas. however you can always use the Wilderness God Wars dungeon and those drop noted bars regardless. The only downside to that is of course it is the wild and yeah you could die so it's better to just kill these if you have the diary complete. Now as it goes for collecting all the items I made the tab pretty simple I just put all the runes on top and the herbs below them. Um, other than that I I was just getting a few gems and the coin stack that just kind of stayed there the whole time. Now the number one drop that is unique from these avian seas would have to be a level 3 clue scroll and that's pretty much where the excitement came from. It's not necessarily where the profit's going to come from but you know using a blowpipe and using so many supplies such as prayer potions and range potions getting those level 3 clue scrolls does help the price check at the very end so I was uh, kind of saving all the clips for a specific point in the video so you guys will see those later on. Now unfortunately I was unable to find a boss log where avian seas were kept track of so for me I was just writing down the number on the top right of the kill count screen before I teleported out every single time on a notepad and you guys will see that throughout the video thanks to that I was able to track my 3,000 kills pretty easily and I'd say overall my worst trip like kill wise was about 151 other than the trip where I accidentally misclicked the teleport and like 30 kills in and my best trip overall was about 220 kills and on average I was getting about 85 to 95k range XP an hour and that's again killing about 300 avian seas every hour so it's not too bad and as it goes for doing the clue scrolls usually whenever I would get one I would just teleport right away and do it and as you can see I didn't really take the time to bank my stuff or anything but like I always mention you know in the wilderness I really don't expect there to be a PKer and for me it was all done late at night in my time zone so I didn't really expect many people to be there now as it goes for these rewards my first one was pretty average but my second clue scroll did come with a master clue although it was only 25k the worst reward of the video I did get to do a master clue because of it so I was pretty happy about that and the reward from that I was obviously expecting to be more than 25k. As usual with this master clue we did get two deep wild steps however we didn't get any hot and cold so I should be pretty thankful because without a hot and cold it only takes like 20 minutes to do and we were rewarded about 500k so yeah pretty good clue. As it goes for avian seas I would say that the clue scrolls are more important to do versus other monsters since you know you don't really get too many drops from avian seas and as you can see we got a pretty average reward there. However after that clue scroll my luck seemed to change for the better and my rewards definitely went up in price as you can see we got 130k followed by 164k and I thought that Zamrock Coif was pretty unique until the very next clue when we got the chaps which was double the price so yeah it definitely felt good to get that I don't know I've never really been into clue scrolls too much especially hard clues but these rewards are pretty motivating so maybe I'll look into uh, making a clue scroll loop video in the future I don't know about doing 1000 hard clues though I feel like that would take a long time but yeah maybe a clue scroll video would be in the far future then getting back to the avian seas however or something that I forgot to mention along with the herb sack and the gem bag and all those goodies uh, something pretty important to bring while you're getting there uh, to the actual avian sea area would be a Sarah Doman and Zamorak item so for me I was using a Zamorak blessing and for the Sarah item I was just using a disposable Sarah Doman mage cape and if you don't have any of those you can always go to the mage bank which is in 50 wilderness and if you just go to the altar you can get unlimited and they are free so it wasn't really a hassle to bring those and when you're wearing a Sarah Doman and a Zamorak item then you're not going to take 
take any damage from all the other minions around you. However, if you do somehow get damaged, and also if you just don't want to use your prayer potions here, then I would recommend using bones to peach tabs, and anytime you kill an A, B, and C, you do get some bones from them, so if you're not using a bone crusher, then having bones to peach tabs can save your life, and it can act as a massive food source for whenever you're out of food. I myself just use prayer potions because I like to just AFK and get things done quickly. As it goes for the supply cost, though, I will say it ended up coming back to bite me really, really hard, because I kind of forgot in 2018, the price of Zora scales, the price of Addy darts, as well as prayer potions seemed to be at an all-time high, and thanks to using a blowpipe, the supply costs were much, much more than had I used like a rune crossbow or something like that. But again, it's all up to preference, you know, you can use whatever you want to kill aviancies. As long as it can shoot up in the sky, then you can definitely use it. Now, as it goes for the overall experience, I am pretty much finishing it up here, just needed like three more kills, and if you add up all those lovely inventories, then you will get just about 3,000 kills. Now, I do want to say I probably misclicked the spiritual mage there, which counts as an armadillo kill probably like 20 times, so it may be a little bit inaccurate by like 20 kills, give or take, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. Now, as it goes for the last clue scroll, only ended up being about 54k, sadly no 3rd age plate body or anything like that. As it goes for the price check though, coming out with all the runes as well as the bars, the insold heads, the nature talismans, the herbs, pretty much everything valuable, coming out to be about 7.4 mil. I did decide to round that up to about 7.5, and the only thing we were missing at this point was the coins, and that's pretty much it. I wasn't too sure if I wanted to add in the clue scrolls in the same price check, so I did a separate price check of that. And with the coins and everything else, it comes out to be about 1.5 mil, so you add 1.5 to the 7.5, and you get about 9 mil from all of the ABNC loot. As it goes for all the hard clue scrolls, as well as the master clue, the loot from those came out to be about 2.2 mil rounded up, and, you know, if you add all that into the 9 mil, you get about 11.1 mil from 3,000 aviancies. And this is my favorite part. So all in all, we used about 6,500 Addy Darts, 15,000 Zora Scales, 200 Prayer Potions, and 50 Range Potions, meaning that all in all, with supply costs included, we only profited about 5.5 mil in 12 hours. Yeah, it didn't really quite go the way I wanted it to, but you know what? At least we all know that aviancies aren't really ideal money anymore. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you feel like subscribing, I do appreciate it, and I do have a new video coming out tomorrow. So until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.